I'm Paul Perkins with the check of your ag weather. After seasonal highs in the mid-80s to the low 90s today, there are small chances of thunderstorms as a weak cold front tracks slowly to the south. Storms could be severe this late afternoon through the evening with two-inch hail, wind gust over 60, and heavy rain the main threats. The higher chances of severe weather are from central and eastern Nebraska on into northern Kansas, where there is a slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. Behind that front are highs tomorrow and Friday cool into the upper 70s to the 80s. Thunderstorms develop on the western high plains tomorrow, sliding to the southeast during the late afternoon to the evening. Best chances are to the southwest of a Lexington to Superior line. A few storms could be strong to severe, but the best chance of severe storms is over southwest and south central Kansas. A weaker disturbance may kick up a few more storms for Friday night. The forecast turning mostly dry for the weekend through early next week when a ridge of high pressure builds to the north. Widespread highs in the 90s expected for Sunday through early next week. The heat sticks around for a while. Warmer than normal temperatures are likely for Nebraska, Kansas, and the entire U.S. Monday through the 1st of August, especially in the central U.S. the first half of next week. Slightly below normal rainfall is indicated for Nebraska and Kansas the early half of next week. For late next week through August 1st, Kansas rainfall stays slightly below normal while Nebraska trends back to near normal rainfall. Key weather factors the markets are watching include increasing heat with somewhat drier weather for the Corn Belt and spotting rain from the Canadian prairies. A front draped across the central plains and mid-Mississippi Valley remain a focus for heavy rain and locally severe thunderstorms. Five-day rainfall expected to reach one to three inches or more. Locally heavy rain also returns across the eastern U.S. where similar totals may occur. Little or no rain falls the next five days in the south central U.S. and from the northern plains into the upper Midwest. In the Corn Belt, pockets of drought persist, but 72% of pastures rated very poor to poor in Missouri, along with 43% in Illinois, and 41% of the pastures rated very poor to poor in Michigan. Building heat across the plains should push weekend temperatures to 100 or higher as far north as eastern Montana. Hot weather also continues in much of the western U.S., as well as Texas and nearby areas. Across the central and southern plains, building heat and less frequent rain occurring during pollination and grain fill for many crops. Towards the northern plains, drought continues to be a concern, especially with the upcoming heat, but there is a chance of meaningful rain north of the Canadian border for late next week. For the Canadian prairies, scattered rain continues today, and spotty rain may move into eastern areas later this week and weekend. Variable temperatures next week and some additional chances of rain in the Canadian prairies is helpful with wheat and canola in the reproductive defilling stages. Overseas in Europe through next week, rain spreads through many areas, especially for the northern areas. Periods of rain and milder temperatures in Europe benefit the developing corn, but are somewhat of a nuisance for maturing winter wheat. With a check of your ag weather, I'm Paul Perkins.